Hi everyone, I'm Dries Velle from Kappa Data, and in this video I will show you how you can disable the low data rates in a ruckus unleashed environment. By disabling low data rates, we force the management frames to be sent on a higher data rate, which reduces the overhead. Especially in high density environments and voice over Wi-Fi environments, this will be beneficial. So before we start configuring, let's have a look at our current SSID. So I got the basic rate test created, it's 2.4 gigahertz channel. We also got it in 5 gig over here. But let's have a look at 2.4 gig. If you right click and do open as PCAP, then it'll open in our Wireshark. So let's take Wireshark and look at the beacon frame. If we have a quick look at our supported rates, we got the support rates here, we can see the four supported rates. So those are the data rates of the B standard. They're all basic rate. If we then look at the extended supported rates, we got all the other data rates. So everything is enabled uh, on this SSID for now. To configure it, there's no way to do it through the web interface. So let's open PuTTY to connect through SSH to the access point. We fill in the IP address of the access point and we click open. Let's fill in our credentials, the password, all right, we're connected. The next step, we first need to do an enable and then we need to enter configuration mode by typing config. Next step, we need to configure our WLAM. To do so, you need to type in WLAN and the name of the WLAN you wish to configure. In our case, it's the basic rate test. Here we go. You can see now it's been loaded. We can have a quick look first to see what's configured. So if you do the show command, we'll get all the information. Let's put a bit bigger for you guys, full screen lot easier. Um, what do we have here? Let's see on top we got transmission uh, rate for management frames which is one megabit. Um, that's a 2.4 gig. For the 5 gigahertz we got 6 megabit. As the B standard is not supported it cannot be one megabit of course. Um, next up let's have a look. Where are you? Lower we can see the BSS minimal rate as well, which is also one megabit. So how will we change this? So we're configuring still our WLAN. Then we can type first OFDM dash only. This will disable all the data rates used by the 802.11b standard. Let's hit enter. We'll see management transmission rate will be set to 6 megabit due to OFDM only enable. All right, next, let's say instead of 6 megabit, we'll move it to 12 megabit minimal rate. Then we can use the command BSS dash min rate space and our data rate we want. In this case, I'll use 12 megabit. Let's hit enter again. At this point we'll see also that the management transmission rate will be set to the same value as our BSS min rate. So we don't need to change that management transmission rate because we just did it in one turn by setting that BSS min rate. That's it. Now let's get back into our WLAN config. So we type in WLAN, the name of the SSID, hit enter, and then we do again our show command. This time we can see that compared to last time where it was 1 megabit, now we got 12 megabit for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. 
If we then look at our BSS minimal rate, it's also 12 megabit. So there's one thing left. Let's end and do exit. We still need to do a reboot. Because without a reboot, the settings will not be active on the access point. So I need just need to wait a little second now till the access point has rebooted. So while we're waiting, we can see while the access point is rebooting or putty did a timeout. So let's open the command line real quick so we can see whenever the access point is back right. So, It's already back online. Great. So first, le first let's have a quick look now if our wireless is already back. I cannot see it yet. So in the meantime, so our access point is back online and now let's have a look at the beacon frame. Open in Wireshark again. So we can see only 12, 18, 24, 36, 48, and 54 megabit data rates are supported now. The extended support data rates entry is not there anymore because right now everything fits into the supported rates. So it's clear that all our slow data rates now have been disabled. It's important also to note that it needs to be set for every access point. That's all. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this will help you configure Ruckus Unleashed in the future. Um, if there are any questions, just leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer them. Thanks everyone. Bye.